Internet Explorers, welcome to the internet. I'm your host, Jace Bellerin, and we're here to not pick me because I'm not the best around, and no one's ever going to keep me down. But realistically, we're doing a Legacy Cube draft here on Magic the Other Online. I'm Frank, and uh, hopefully you guys are uh, going to stick around. we got a Frexy, Metamorph, and a Tundra. These are the cards I'm leaning towards. Hmm. I make PP standing up. Well, you know, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. Hmm. I don't want to be a double blue card. I'd rather be a fixing land. Tundra is real good. Boop! I just took that Tundra. Anyone on the internet who, uh, who, who, who encourages me to take fixing lands, who fixing land shames me, I think you'll appreciate this one. I'm going to take this Pestermite. Because it's Pestermite. Under Frank, can we do Storm? There is no Storm in this cube, actually. You can't do Storm in this cube, as far as I know. I mean, there's not a single card that has Storm on it, and there is no... There's no artifact mana, so... Lily... So, we're presuming we were to have some red in our deck because of this Pestermite. Maybe draw a card, create a... I know what that does. I don't have to read it. Forbid? It's probably just Forbid, right? I don't think... Unexpectedly absent will table. I don't. I also don't think it's better than Forbid when we already have a blue card. We. You have to consider that we're probably going to be trying for Splinter Twin slash Kiki Jiki, so we're going to be heavy red. So I really don't want to take a, a pretty mediocre double white card. I'm going to take this Forbid. And I, I have it on good authority that that uh, Unexpectedly absent will likely table. Tamiyo seems fine. I don't think Locust God is actually that good. Glacial Fortress is nice because it, it cements our splash, our white splash if we want it. Like if we get a Sphinx's Revelation or something. Is it better than Tamiyo? I'm not sure. Seagate Oracle, also not bad. We also could just not play Pestermite and be blue-white. Just blue-white. I'm going to take the land in, in that situation. Karanos is one of the stronger blue-red cards in this cube and in life. So I'm going to take the Karanos. Batter Skull. That's a late Batter Skull. I'm going to take a Batter Skull. Batter Skull is just a solid dude. And if we happen to get a Stoneforge Mystic, more power to us. You know what I mean? Spell Skite's great if we're planning to, uh, uh, you know, block... Or also for planning to Kiki Jiki combo because it helps us deal with that nonsense. Creeping Tarpit? Hmm. Let's us be Grixis, but I don't really see a reason for that. It's probably just Old Man of the Sea. That guy's kind of versatile. Uh, fight with Fire? It's 10 damage. I'm going to take it because it's 10 damage. I don't know if that's good. I really don't. Look at that. The unexpectedly absent did not come back. Hmm. All right. I don't know what direction we're going in right now. Sort of Light and Shadow could be good. I don't think Battlesphere does anything really for us. Toughness two or less, that only gets that only gets Pestermite. But we do have a Pestermite. Hmm. I just don't think it's as good. I'll probably just take the sword because it lets us also get back Pestermite if it dies. I mean, Arc Trail is actually fine. Kiln Fiend. What if we're just like a Kiln Fiend deck? Hmm.
All right, all of these cards are pretty playable, but in a different deck than we initially thought we'd be in. So it doesn't look like the White Lands are going to be that relevant here. I mean, I'll definitely splash a Stoneforge Mystic off of off of these if we get the opportunity, especially with a Sword and a Batter Skull. We could also not be blue. We could be red white. No, I want the Karanus and the Pest. Or if we're red white, we can splash these two off of the lands. Chain Lightning, Compulsive Research. I do like Celestial Colony because it cements our white splash if we want it. I don't care about Chain Lightning terribly. Compulsive is good, but I think it's pretty run of the mill. Like, we can get. There's a lot of good draw spells in this cube, so. Locust God is literally. It was in the first pack we passed it. Uh, I'm going to take Celestial Colony here. I think it's still a nice. Uh, see, like, and then there's Thirst for Knowledge, which is totally fine. Sword of Fire and Ice is one of my favorite swords. Probably going to take that, especially when we have a Spell Skite. I think I'd play that 100% over this one. That is a late Ancient Tomb. Fourth pick Ancient Tomb? Third pick Ancient Tomb? That's interesting. We could just Force Spike and got him. We could also take a Lightning Helix because we have a lot of fixing now. I'm going to take the Tomb. I think Tomb is a little too strong to pass up. Nickel Bolas Planeswalker. Unfortunately, our lands are white and not black. And it's heavier black than any other color. Sneak Attack could be good. Ral Zarek is also not terrible. I think it's either this, this, or this. I think Thunderbreak Regent might table. Sneak Attack is pretty strong, as we uh, noticed in the last draft we did. I want to take Sneak Attack. I think it's I think it's stronger than it than it should be. Inferno Titan is what you want to be doing. <laughs> Even if you just have a sneak attack. Yeah, Inferno Titan's pretty good. I wish I could take this time warp. Uh, I also hope this Spire Bluff Canal comes back, but I don't think either of those are going to happen. Phantasmal Image is pretty okay. I'm not going to take Misty because we have only Tundra to get with it. And Image is pretty good. Sea Chrome Coast. Electrolyze. Kira. Hazaret. Ponder? I like Electrolyze more than I like Ponder. Yeah, I like being able to sneak in something like Inferno Titan, then Phantasmal Image the Inferno Titan so that it doesn't die. That's pretty good. This deck is interesting, but I like it so far. Sunbird's Invocation seems spicy, but I'm not sure how... This is like going to be the exact same deck we played last time. That's pretty funny. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to take this Emrakul because it's exactly what you want with the sneak attack. Yeah, we have to pass the Assembled Legion this time for an Emrakul, so... <sighs> seems good. I'll take a Grim Lava Mancer. You could have done a big red deck instead of taking all 2-3 choices. I don't know what that... 2-3 two, choices? What does that mean? I only have one, two, three in the deck, and it's over here. Old Man of the Sea. Come on. What are you talking about? Searing Spear could be good. I don't like Serendipifreet or Hordling Outburst that much. Uh, I'm going to take the Force Spike. And then we're going to get him. I was hoping Thunderbreak Region would actually come back. I think it's actually a very, very fine attacker. Slagstorm for the sideboard. Yeah, we already have a lot of spot removal. I don't think we're going to play Hazard, but I like that it came back. See, this is exactly what we were hoping for, because now we can hope this plateau wheels and splash it off of 
plateau and four three fixing lands. Yeah, I think it's Sphinx's Rev here. This is a perfect splash. The only other card I even care about is like Thunder Thundermaw Hellkite, and that's I don't really care about it that much. Do we just daze? Can we just get him multiple ways? We also have a Pestermite with no Splinter Twin or Kiki Jiki so far. It's probably Wandering Fumeral, actually. I don't care about Vendillion Click that much in this deck. I also don't care about Daze that much. Impulse is just the poor man's uh, Sphinx's Revelation, so... I'm also going to take out this Kiln Fiend. Well, Deceiver Exarch, I think we just have to take that. We're not going to take Rift Bolt or, or Monastery Swift Spear. So now we got two of the pieces. All we need is a Kiki Jiki or a Splinter Twin. And the fact that Deceiver Exarch made it to us means that, like, at least the guy on our immediate right is not in the, in the combo, so... But also, the, the fact that we have both of these means other people might not be taking those pieces as highly because they just don't have them. And then we wait. I'm hoping that plateau comes back. I will also take an Arid Mesa or... You people have no respect. This could be a Talran deck, actually. Like, we have uh, Forbid, Brimstone, Fight with Fire, Electrolyze, Searing Spear, Arc Trail, Pillar, Force Spike. I don't like Ravages of War. This is actually the only card in this pack that we can actually even consider taking, so. Also, these guys are not great by themselves. Brawl? I like Stagger Shock. Stagger Shock could be good, especially with Tower Round. I think it's probably better than Brawl. No, I think Brawl's probably better. We also have swords with protection from all colors but green. Yeah, the card pool count versus what's in the pack doesn't actually assure that. That's a good point, and I actually don't like that. This is why I like 360 card cubes better, because you get to see everything. So you could be taking a card like Pestermite and Deceiver Exarch, and literally Splinter Twin just might not be in these packs, and it's kind of obnoxious. I don't care about Opt. I don't care about Thassa. I probably just want a Johnny Vengeant. We could have taken Gristlebrand for the sneak attack, but... Actually, maybe it was Gristlebrand. I'm going to put both of these in the sideboard for now, unfortunately. Put the spell sketch in the sideboard, too, for now. Yeah, I'm not sure it'll wheel. I think we're past the point where it'll wheel, but... Opposition? We're not an opposition deck at all, unfortunately. That is a late opposition. But Garden Hellkite seems pretty good with the uh, sneak attack. And we can just get to a point where we can cast it. That seems fine. I think it's better than Luteral Core here.
Oh, Goblin Dark Dweller seems great here. Merfolk Looter is cool too. Dark Dweller has a lot of targets. Arc Trail, Searing Spear, uh, Brimstone Volley, Fight with Fire, Electrolyze. Yeah, we're going to take Dark Dwellers here. Thunderball Hellkite came back, but the land did not. That's interesting. Hmm. I mean, we'll definitely play this. I wonder if someone like first pick Kiki and then they're like, come on, Pestermite. Yeah, that's... <laughs> we're just two ships passing in the night. Might just cut Sphinx's Rev and just keep the mana real simple. We don't have a ton of great card advantage. We have Karanos. Ah, the days came back. Days might be better than Force Spike, but having both might be even better than, than that. Oh, I guess we'd have a Johnny still anyway, so if we're going to splash, like... God, I can't believe that plateau didn't come back. That's really sad. What's going on on Dreamt Tuna? Why Jeskai? I mean, because Sphinx of Revelation and a Johnny Vengeance are powerful cards. And we have three fixing lands. I mean, that's really the only reason. We could cut them, though. I mean, it's not out of the question. But, I mean, they're powerful cards, so. I also do kind of want a spot for... I do want days in here if we have Talrand, because it lets us tap out. Um, yeah, like, if I didn't have the lands, I would not be... I, would, I wouldn't even be entertaining the thought of playing Jeskai. But we have Glacial Fortress, Colonnade, and Tundra, which is very good. So, I mean, like, splashing one Sphinx's Rev off three lands is pretty OP. Which we might do. I don't care about Rift Bolt, really. Oh, the Stagger Shock came back? That's great. Especially if we are playing the Talrand. Lightning Mauler and Faithless Looting. I like looting a little better here. We have 26 cards. Oh my god, we have to make so many cuts, dude. Not okay. I think we can probably cut Hellkite. It's only really good. Actually, if we get eight, if we get to 8 mana, it's just real good. <sighs> you bitches ain't got no respect. Last pick opposition. That's unbelievable to me. That is not that is not normal. That is not okay. So three cuts. Oh boy. I think we can cut Faithless Looting. We have a lot of that. I don't care about Grim Lava Mancer in this deck. That's easy. That's two cuts down. We also have a... Uh, this Dismissive Pyromancer is also a loot effect, which is pretty cool. I feel like it might be Batter Skull or Bogarden Hellkite. Yeah, we'll cut the Hellkite. Do I want one... F no, I don't think I want one planes. 
So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is six, seven. Now we have seven, eight versus five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is eight, nine. That seems good. Done. In it to win it. But Garden Hellkite's expensive, and uh, I want to minimize the number of cards that I can't cast without sneak attack, so. I also think we have a ton of great threats like Goblin Dark Dwellers, Thunder My Hellkite, Karanos, Batter Skull, Thunder Brick Regent, and Inferno Titan that we can cast. Yes, if you guys were gifted a sub last week or the week before, whenever it was, and uh, you want to continue supporting the content, you can do so. You can resubscribe for $1 this month, which is pretty sweet. So make sure you do that because everybody wins. You win, I win, we all win. There's a lot of winning happening. Let me actually extract this deck. And yes, bring you back up and join. Uh, I'll play first, yes. I will keep this hand. Oh, we're going to get him, all right. Oh, we'll get him. Old Man River. Gonna play an island and force spike you. This is a Yui Lewis the News song. This is good enough for me. They might have kept a one lander. We may never get a chance to play this again. Uh, this is gonna run straight into Ravnica. So this is up till the 28th, which is like two weeks from now, which is amazing. And um, then it, then the next day is Ravnica. Ten gonna get them bits. Ten already got them bits. Where do you read your comics? Do I usually just read them in bed? I don't have a reading chair actually. Maybe I should get one. Could have got this too, but it's yeah, basically the same thing except that land can't attack us. Okay, we're having a good time. Uh, it, the joke is on us. It is really us who have been gotten by Magic the Gathering. You thought you got them, but they, it is they who have gotten you. You and good chairs don't mix? What is that? Oh, is that a what does that mean? I don't get it. Oh, you just drew two lands. That's pretty good. That's nice. And a search mark. You played a rootbound Kragums. Alright. That was cool. I had a I had a good time this game. I'm not really gonna play this out when we have no lands and literally no plays for Yep. Alright, so we would have drawn that. Drawn that, done nothing again. I guess we would have played Talrand. Alright, sure. It's just not fun for me. I'll try it again because we have sneak attack, which is half ha half the battle. Dang, we couldn't got him this game. We can still strike him down. I'm gonna do it. Here we go again. You ready? 
Here we go again. Oh my god, we did it. One more land. Never mind. Cool. <laughs> two out of two games. We do not draw lands when we need them in the first four turns. Seems good. Yep. Wow. Yep, make sure you keep on tapping my land. I don't want to be able to cast anything. <sighs> we were tempted to stagger shock, but I guess we could have stagger shock. We wouldn't be able to cast four spike until we unless we had a blue anyway, so. They're not doing anything, which is very weird. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. Oh, boy. There we go. Now they're going to play something broken because we just hit a land. So, yep, of course. Amazing. If this is an island, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes it's just a joke. It's just a big, fat joke. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One big dang joke. 11 big dang joke bits. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Sure. Might as well go to the next step. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we still have to sacrifice it, but I'm not sure. Because it's not a creature. It says sacrifice that the creature at the beginning of the next. It's weird. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Sure. Cool. Fun match. I had a good time. Did you guys have a good time? I really felt like I was able to play Magic the Gathering against my opponent. And... Uh, we really, we both, we both played hard. We both played a fair share of spells and lands, and uh, we both. It was back and forth. There was a lot of interaction, and uh, we get to go to round two, knowing that we did the best we could do in round one. So, kudos, Magic the Gathering. Kudos, Magic the Gathering, on being one of the most ridiculous resource games I've ever seen. 
uh, that can be responsible for some of the highest highs and the lowest lows. And uh, is one of the only games I know where you can sit down against someone and actually not be able to play the game. So that's very, it's, a, it's an interesting component. That's an interesting, that's a feature, not a bug of Magic Online where you get to sit down and not actually play Magic the Gathering. But uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? You accept it for what it is, I guess. I did get to draw a card each turn, that is correct. That is about the extent of it. This hand is keepable. Now I get to play against Cheese Pizza, which is one of my favorite things in the world, so... What could possibly go wrong? That's good with the Sphinx's Rev. Over time, I wonder increasingly if you were cut out for magic given its lowest lows. I mean, am I, am I cut out for it? I've played magic for 20 years and I've made content and played competitively for at least 10. So, uh, I mean, I feel like, I mean, really upset. I talked about it for like a minute, for maybe 45 seconds, and now, I'm, now we're on game two. Now we're in the second round. I think people overstate getting really upset about something. I mean, I didn't throw things. I didn't yell and scream. I didn't get up and have to walk away. I didn't have to like compose myself i just had a little rant about magic's resource system and now here i am saying someone's not cut out for something like you usually say that at the beginning like hey man i, I see you're going to a woodworking sh a woodworking shop i don't know if you're cut out for woodworking i'm pretty clear it's pretty clear i'm cut out for it considering i've been doing it for 10 years but i mean maybe we'll figure out maybe we'll figure out in the 11th year whether i'm cut out for it I mean, to, to to show how to show how like to show how like okay I am with it. It's like I, my rant was done by the time you mentioned that. So like, that's a weird. That's 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 good enough, right? If that's the uh, if that's the if that's the definition of really upset, then man. All right, now this guy's pretty bad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can Sphinx for five next turn, which is pretty nice, but they are blue-white, so. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, it's, it's very strange to call that really upset. Like, really upset? I was bothered by it. I was irritated. But, I'm, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's a weird... That was really upset? I think I'm more upset about you calling it really upset. This is going well. This is going well for us right now. Hey streamer, take it easy buddy. How dare you get upset when you don't get to play magic against your opponent because you don't draw lands and they tap down your one land and then they have everything you need from mirror battle sphere when the one turn you need a blue mana to uh Wolf your Silverheart giving them the exact four extra points they need. Yeah, this is going to get countered for sure, which is really unfortunate, but... If that is a definition of really upset, I'm in constant rage mode. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Well, they were going to pay something. They were going to play something. Are you for real right now? I felt really good about countering this. Now I feel stupid. I don't even think sneak attack does anything for us now. All right, well, sure. Well, especially not now, good Lord. Uh, blue, blue, 
white. So it should be one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is correct. So I want to go one, two, three, but then we have five, six, seven, and then we just die to that. So that's unfortunate. Are we just dead anyway? Like they have two, they have two guys who can block the lifelink and the regular guy. I think we are dead. They're gonna have a bunch of different blockers, right? They're gonna have. A, yeah, we're just dead. We're gonna go to the next game. Also, I don't know who. I don't know who timed guy in the chat out, but I. You don't really have to do that. A lot of these spells seem pretty underwhelming, actually. I think I just want the stronger cards in my deck, really. At least you never walked five miles home in the rain because you got milled in round one in a non-mill format. I don't even know what that means, but you're right. I have not done that. This hand seems pretty terrible. It's not better, but... I don't think I've ever rage quit. Actually, I think I've rage quit, but it was like... It was at a point where like I was out of it anyway. And uh, I'm pretty sure I, it was a limited event and I threw my deck in the trash. I actually really wanted that Phantasm Woman just because they have very good creatures. But I can't not hit lands, so. Oh, Ancestral Vision. Well, here we go. So if we actually kept the Phantasm Woman, we would not have a... Uh, we would have drawn it, then Inferno Titan. So we definitely wouldn't have... Yeah, that's fine. All right, one more red. God, we're so good at this game. Land, red, mountain, red mountain. Cool. <laughs> Do it, doing it again. All right. Again, this would have been really good because we can go Thunder Break into Thunder Maw. But now, all right, I accept this. It's a land, but it's not a second red, which we really need for this hand, as you can imagine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, do it on this. Do it on this for the lulls. Dang. We have yet to win a match, uh, win a game with this deck. My god. What is even happening? Oof. 
brutal. Oh my god, man. This just happens to be our best hand yet. Ten, we believe in you, Bits. <laughs> well, at this point, I don't believe in myself, so... What's C2H3O? Is that salt? Because that's pretty hilarious. It is alcohol. That's less funny. I guess salt would be uh, sodium chloride, so that doesn't make any sense. Here we go. Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, I also uninstalled MGO because of an 03, so I think that if we compared your upset to mine, I would have been... Yeah, like, I don't understand. Like, I'll rant for a minute at most. I don't even think it was a minute. I think it was probably a 45-second rant because I didn't draw lands in two matches, two games. I didn't really get to play any of my cards. And so I get upset about that. And then then I move on. Like, really? Like if your if your argument is that I shouldn't be upset for less than one minute after unfair things happen. Well, I don't know if I agree. Hmm. Let's say Woodfall Primus is coming down. Let's actually play Sneak Attack here. Is that what we want to do? I guess we have to. Oh, I guess they just kill that then. No, oh, that makes me sad. I was saying, we. so my I was locked into the train of thought where they're going to kill the Ancient Tomb. I'm like, oh, they're just going to kill Ancient Tomb. So we might as well get Sneak Attack down with Ancient Tomb so we can do it. And then I realized, oh, they can just kill the, the Sneak Attack. Oh, they, all right. Oh, we're having a good time now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, you're rancid about a paragraph. We're going to need it down to about two sentences. Otherwise, you just seem like you're a little manic. All right, well, I apologize. I'm sorry. Necrotal. Man, you ain't got no class. Well, we can't shoot this guy. One, two, three. We could put Inferno Titan into play and then put Sword and then but then they just block, right? Don't kill my Inferno Titan. Shroud. What a time to be alive. I come here for the memes. My welcome god, I hope so. My god. If this place was unwelcoming toward the meme lords, like...
I mean, to be fair, I'd prefer I prefer Shroud to Hexproof, but I think they're both pretty rude. Do you guys want to hear me rant about it? I can go nuts. I'll go. F I'll go friggin' crazy. That's pretty basic. Anybody got time for that? So what if I sneak two people in? They block. They have to block here, and then we can get six points in. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can get eight points in. Put you to one. I mean, next turn, this guy gets exiled, so you're not going to get two triggers off this. Come on, you maniac. We got to win against these big dummies, Dick. Believe in you, bits. <laughs> oh, good times. And he's got lifelink now. All right, so nothing is... I mean, this guy's going to deal 6, 7, 8. So if we go to 12, we can... We can maintain at 4. But I assume they block, otherwise they're dead. So... If we had one more land, we can play Batter Skull here. Isn't he dead exactly? I don't know how. Oh, because the 3 from this... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I guess I guess so. You block here. Oh hold on. They're gonna have to block here. So they take one, two, three, four, five, six. This would trigger seven, eight. And then we also have the trigger from this. Yeah, we're just gonna kill them. And then they die to their own arena, I think. It's aggressive. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Wow, that was something else. What a time to be alive. I'm bringing Spell Sky because they have a bunch of things like Necrotal and uh, I guess this is going to be good against Wood Woodfall Primus. I guess this isn't good against Woodfall Primus either because it can't target creatures. Huh. Well, I'll be. Yeah, I think we're fine, I guess. I don't know. Magic card. Uh, probably not doing another one after this. I do have to eat some food. I haven't eaten it yet today. Uh, <laughs> and it's almost 10 p.m. I had some I had some food at like 11 or 12, but that's a, that's a while ago. So. Have you ever been accused of cheating? Uh, no, actually. I don't conduct myself in such a way in Magic to, like, be accused of cheating. Plus, I've always been a staunch uh, advocate of of n not cheating because I, you know, I, I called Alex Bertoncini out when he was first, when he first came to light that he was cheating and he was in, like, the top eight or the finals of the, the, the first SCG Invitational that he won. And I was like, Magic Community is being robbed of $10,000 right now. Uh, this hand is really suspect. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna hope for a, a mountain of some sort. Hmm. 
If we can draw Island Mountain, we can go Talrand into like one of these things. It's not bad. Witchcraft, maybe. I accept that. Oh, great. Great. Well, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> we did get the second blue for the Talrand. However, here we are. Discard Woodfall Primus. Frexian Obliterator. Oh, this is actually fantastic. Oh man, I could not have asked for a better card there. Arc Trail, you little ratties! Yep, Mountain was pretty nice. Exhum! Crying out loud. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Do we just hit him for five and then uh, let him do his magic? Yep, this is a hard card to deal with. Okay, and we're just going to go to the next game because you have nine, eight power on board and we have no way to deal with five of it. Yeah. Sort of Light and Shadow seems great here because of the pro black. Boy. I used to watch Modern Mondays every week. Big fan. Currently still watch Corbin's version on TCG. Does he should encourage you to edit your videos to show mostly winning matches? No, I never actually did that. They never encouraged me in any way, shape, or form. They never mentioned that. That was a never conversation that anyone ever had. I feel like you don't see a lot of non-games. Um, I mean, if you had a non-game, I wouldn't actually post it because it's not good magic. Uh, I definitely post a ton of videos that I lost. But if it's a non-game, if it's like, I didn't draw lands, they didn't draw lands, something like that, like, I just didn't do it. Like, because it's not a good, it's not good entertainment. Everybody knows that happens in a game of Magic, but it's not a good indicator of how the deck is going to perform. So. Yeah, no site I've ever asked for has been like, hey, only post winning matches. Because that doesn't do anything. Doomsday, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Like, there's no there's no sales metric that is improved by you posting winning matches. I guess people could be more encouraged about playing the deck and buy it. But, like, I mean, that's a, that's a ridiculously shady thing to do um, for that incremental... Potentially not even real boost in in sales. So yeah, no one's really conspiring to sell like extra copies of like feed the pack. No one's actually actually conspiring to sell extra eight cent copies of rares. You know that's like that's 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 kind of silly. I started watching a YouTube I playing non magic games and non money. Yeah, it happens all the time. So here's hoping it's reanim it's it's not reanimate. Anything other than reanimate is fine because we can daze it. You're gonna exhum him to Torok. Of course it hits the daze. Of course we draw a mountain. <laughs> Magic. You are a real biscuit sometimes. Do you play cube and paper? Uh, when I can. It's really hard to get eight people together. That is not an easy proposition. Okay, our opponent doesn't have anything right now, which is nice, but neither do we. If we can draw an island to keep up Forbid into Karanos before they can play their Phyrexian Obliterator... Alright, that's fine. 
Are you serious right now? Is this real life? Here we go. I really wish I had a way to discard this, but there, it would be in the graveyard. So. This is real dumb. Yep. Favorite CD? Do you mean album? Because I haven't listened to an actual CD in probably 10 years. All we need was one island. One island and it actually, yeah, fantastic. Could have actually discarded the Emrakul here, but I, I don't really feel like I... If, yeah, all right, we're done. All right, so 03, not the best match. We also had a, a pretty controversial meat discussion, I'm sure, and a, uh, a dissection of my... Uh, how upset I get during during losses. Either way, I think our record has been pretty, pretty good on uh, cube drafts, so I'm not too upset about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. You guys have been great. I will be back tomorrow for a special Saturday stream where I'm going to be playing a Bant. Thank you. It's not Collected Company. What is it? It's Bant Gift. Oh, God Pharaoh's Gift. Yeah, we're going to be playing something that looks like this. Uh, it's going to be an updated version, so it's not exactly like this. But uh, either way, hopefully I'll see you guys here. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and uh, Twitch. Links are in the description below, and I'll see you next time.